Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the beginnings of my new studio and uh, to another episode in that build. I have created an extension and thus brought out an extra essentially four meters by four meters worth of workshop. I've moved my hand tools and the tool collection into here where I'm in the process of there goes my phone. You don't need to see all of this happening, although I will give you the proper full tour and it'll be in-depth and, yeah, f fun? Hmm, I don't know. Today, though, storage. Wood storage. I have a love-hate relationship with wood. I love collecting it. I love acquiring it. I love dreaming about what I'm going to use it for. I really struggle with the storage. I've got, or have had, very little space in my home studio for this, but there's always another piece of wood, and the projects are probably years off in the future. I'm sure you understand this. I'm sure you are on the same page here. One of the main reasons for doing this whole extension, all of this work, has been to increase my storage space and make it uh, better for the timber. Now, throughout this extension and the building of the original workshop, I have been doing it with guitar building and with timber storage in mind. I have got double glazing almost throughout and will be putting in double glazing on the three windows left that are just single glazed. Every single surface in this shed is fully insulated. Roofs, floors, ceilings, I'm duplicating somewhere, walls. It's all insulated. It all has as much sealing to keep the moisture out as humanly possible. I have got a heater that is on a thermostat and keeps the temperature at a, <laughs> except in the current weather, uh, an, an even number. And I have a dehumidifier going whenever I am not filming to pull out excess moisture to keep it at around about 50-55%. Um, <sighs> Wood needs to be kept dry. That's that. And flat. Wood needs to be kept dry and flat. It wants to warp, it wants to move, it wants to say, hey, I used to be a gorgeous piece of wood, I used to be perfect for that, but because you just threw it in a corner, it now has a major twist and will not, it will not make that neck you were dreaming of or that workbench or whatever it happens to be. So uh, that's where the timber rack comes up. And uh, this is a Triton product. I am sponsored by them. I've been working with them. Well, I've been using them for far longer than I've been working with them, but uh, I'm a fan. And this is one of the best products. It is supremely simple. It is incredibly durable. There are six shelves, each shelf capable of taking 50 kilograms. That's 110 pounds worth of weight and uh, yeah there we go use that with the addition of stickers and your timber will be perfect that was an intensely long intro and far far too much going on Burn it. perfect <laughs> This is the problem. So this is the old studio. And I have got wood everywhere. <laughs> it's just an absolute nightmare. Uh, kitchen counter, guitar body blank, turning blanks, tops. One of my favorite tools in the entire universe. We've got boxwood for guitar building, we've got a, uh, an air purifier that needs to go on the wall, we've got mahogany and flame sycamore and zebrano and bits and pieces. There's turning wood under there, there's body blanks down there, there's wood, there's a three-quarter size guitar, uh, there's Nomex. What the hell am I doing with Nomex? And a beautiful carving. 
there is a lot of stuff. And what there is is an unmitigated mess and I can't work like this. Now, granted it is a little bit more messy, marginally, than it was uh, before I started the extension. Just building that has sowed unmitigated chaos. But I've created some space. And uh, this is where the bench used to be. I don't need these tool racks anymore. Those are coming down. This space is gonna have timber racks all the way along here. Uh, I probably, it's probably gonna be overkill. I don't need that much timber storage, or at least not for big stuff, because I don't have that much big stuff here. Uh, but it's also gonna be used for uh, metal bars and stuff like that for the engineering lathe and playing around with that. I can even use it to, uh, to stack guitar cases. Guitar cases are a problem. When you've got a limited workshop space, even if you've got four or five or six guitar cases about the place, it's an issue. Come on then, let's fix this issue. Oh look, there's wood here too. Mm. Double mm. <laughs> and HDMI cables. I seem to have cables, cables, cables. This just oh, thank you guys. Click like, subscribe. Professional me. More wood. Crotch mahogany. Oh. And the old plane. Look at that. This, this could not be a more straightforward yet solid system. Of course we read the instructions. It is windy. That's all it is. Uprights, racky bits, location bits for the wall, which we'll see later, and some screws. Now this is very, very simple. There you go. And as it's got the angle, when it has weight, it locks itself in like a, like a clamp. So much easier than putting together damn Ikea furniture, I tell you. Those cupboards in there, nightmare. I can build a guitar. Flat pack furniture.
Now. Where do I put it? I thought, I thought that what I wanted to do was have racks all the way along the top so that I can then have uh, access to machines underneath. This short dam ceiling is not great and it's knocked down even further by that, which means I don't have storage area underneath. I could, Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, I don't have to have the top rack all the way up to the roof, and I don't even need, technically, to have this bottom one on at all, so my work benches can still come up to it and uh, be done. So the top rack, let's say I've got enough room here for something, that lines up along the bottom there, bench has come up against, we're good, the plans have not changed, this is a, it's a flexible system. Before I put the uh, shelves on, let's take this one, yeah that's the bottom, okay, and uh, we'll use that to mark out where we want to go. Ceiling's a bit weird, so I'm just going to go from the bottom of this. That's a bit easier. Haha. -ha. Even a fret rocker wouldn't detect the difference in level there. Shut up, Ben. 
Okay, so what I've got here, I, I don't have huge lumps of wood. I don't tend to bring huge lumps of wood here. I process them down at headquarters if needed. And then I store smaller stuff, neck blanks, body blanks, tops, etc. So I've got this, which is gonna have a bunch of uh, tops and guitar bodies, uh, etc. body blanks and things like that. And that's more than enough. Then slightly longer pieces and potentially bits of metal and stuff on here. I'm not talking about huge amounts of weight, uh, even though each one of these shelves is rated for 50 kilograms, uh, I haven't put major giant bolts all the way through the wall, um, relatively short screws. I don't want them poking through and nipping the youngsters, uh, as they say, but um, yeah, for small stuff, what I've got here is absolutely fine. And uh, if I was putting really heavy stuff on, I would bolt all the way through the wall and do it that way. As it stands though, as it stands though, I'm not in the mood at this point to get all of the wood out. I'm just not. It's a hot day. I've got a glass of wine just got my name on it. I'm going to get a few pieces out and call it a day. I am going to be working on the rest of this workshop. I'm going to be changing, moving, pushing things around, pushing the workbench back under here and uh, well I'll see you on the flip side. An example. Beautiful, lightly quilted Supuli. Oh yes. <laughs> so actually what I need is some stickers so that we've got nice airflow all the way through everything and that's the the real point of these things so uh, yeah I'll be back uh, I'll be back another day to finish this video of course cheerio So cool. Quilt. Woohoo. Nope, not enough. Okay, that's actually wedging it in place now, so that's, uh, yeah, that's all good. This is going to take a while. Should we just um, skip to the end, maybe? Good chance?
Yes, let's do that. <clears throat> Actor, I am not. At this stage, I found a whole bunch of stuff. I found a whole bunch of stuff that I've kind of forgotten I had wood-wise. There's some seriously... Ah, I'll show you that in a second. That's mm, Elm. I found a shotgun case that I want to turn into a musical instrument at some point, or maybe into the case for a, for a musical instrument. I don't know. I could, fit a, I could fit a travel guitar inside the shotgun case. That could be fun. Um, some boxwood, some flame maples, just all sorts of bits and pieces. Lots of turning wood. This has been squirreled away in dirty corners for ages, and I now have access. This is a flamed something shelf that's been a shelf for 100 years or more. High functioning hoarder? Does adding the word high functioning in the front make it any better? Anyway, look, let, let's, let's, let's have a quick look. Moisture meter. I absolutely, this is, this is, this is the, the, the thing. And, uh, and I need, I need 14 hands. Damn it. All right, let's check this beastie out. Is that not just crying out? be made into something okay first of all so the specific gravity of elm is about oh, hold on species material yeah about 66 67 so this here is 11 12 10 woo of course this cavity under there he's about ready to use isn't it oh yes you can't beat an accurate moisture meter. No pins, mum. <laughs> okay, uh, what should I make out of that chunk of wood? I've got enough to make like 14 tops or uh, maybe one book matched body. Let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, now, there are still big chunks of wood, bits and pieces, there's all sorts of stuff. There's stuff. There's more over there and some veneer. These things are too big. I don't want them up. They will be along here. With that done, a lot of my storage issues are dealt with. In the next video, the next workshop tour video, the next workshop adjustment video, whatever this has been, is gonna be, well, you'll see everything. It's going to be a tour. I'm going to move some tables around. I'm going to move some tools around. I'm going to make this whole workshop area a lot better. Uh, that through there will be done. Uh, lighting wise, the collection will be on display and that's great because it's nice to look at pretty things. Uh, there we go. So please click like, subscribe, go and make some sawdust and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Timber store, timber store, dry, airflow, space, good racking, good moisture meter, you done? <laughs>